whole screen so we're all good to go. All of us are here. I'm going to go ahead and make sure over here, oops, over here as well. We are recording so we for sure get our audio and everything else. Um, with that, I have all of my, um, all of your questions and everything will be off on my right side, okay? Um, so when it comes time and I, I get in between different parts, I'll go ahead and ask and, and make sure that uh, all of your questions are answered. Um, tonight, I'm, I'm really kind of excited about what we're going to be talking about because tonight is all about, um, well, this is at the end. So let's, I don't know why it's starting at the end. Let's start at the beginning. How about that? Bam. All right, there we go. So tonight is all about creating the right values, all right? And the reason that I think that this is a really big piece to success, oh, wait, hold on. Let's start this party, okay? We've got everything recorded. All right, here we go. And now, Journey to Success with Pete Asmus. Tonight, mindset to action steps and everything in between. We are about you, focusing on what you need to get to that next level. So get ready, get excited, because we are about to get started. From coast to coast, your host, Pete, the visionary pit bull, Asmus. All right, there you go, right? That's me. I'm a, I'm a visionary pit bull. I'm, I'm also an action taker. Um, and I am your host tonight, and uh, this is Journey to Success. I believe it is, what, December 6th, December 7th uh, tonight? And um, this is Sunday. We're going to be here every Sunday. I'm always here on Sunday nights, and uh, I donate, and I, I give, and I invest my hour with you guys, and I hope you guys find the value of uh, investing your hour with me. Um, my name is, again, like I said, Pete Asmus. Uh, this is Journey to Success. I am the host. And um, every every Sunday, we really kind of focus on mindset, right? For me, Sundays are about setting up your week. Sundays are about really focusing on what do you want out of life, right? Because it happens, if we really break everything down, right, when it comes to success, I heard somebody say this to me, and I, and I thought this was brilliant. They said, look, successful people just make better decisions. And it's like, well, wait, hold on. Is that, is that really true? Is, is it that really what they do? But when you really break down what we are, who we are, and all of that, it all comes down to what? Decisions. We make decisions on a daily basis, right? Um, every day, hold on, let me pull this up here, too, because otherwise I'll go this whole time without uh, seeing myself. And then the whole reason why we are... We are. Um, I'm recording this is so that uh, is so that you guys can see my face when I'm talking to you, and so this way we'll have the video on YouTube as well. Um, but anyway, so when we break everything down, right, about who we are and what we do, it all comes down to decisions that we make on a daily basis. And I mean, like literally every day, we make hundreds of decisions. Successful people make better decisions than we do, than you do, than I do, right? When you're talking about Bill Gates, he made way better decisions than we did, right? And you may say, well, no, he was really smart. Well, yeah, he was really smart, but he still made better decisions every day. And so when it comes down to how do I really start to change? How do I really start to get where I want to go? I think value, you, you seeing your value, making sure your values line up with the direction you're going, all those things are key components to ensuring that you get where you want to go, right? Because think about a big giant boat, right? Let's say we had one of those boats from the 1850s or I don't know, 1700s or whatever it was when they had those guys rowing them, right? And we put everybody there, but we had each oarman rowing in different directions. Where would that boat go and how fast would it get there? I mean, man, I, I don't know if it would really end up going anywhere, right? Because if they're all rowing in different directions, they're all counteracting each other. But we don't think about that. When we, when we think about our life, when we think about going after what we want, we think in a, in a very minute way a lot of times. We don't think at 30,000 feet. We think at a daily level. We think right down there, look, I'm in the grunge. I'm in the grime. You don't get it. Like I'm fighting my way every day and I do get it. But the problem is when you're fighting little battles every day, you're not looking at the overall picture. So you're not able to grasp a really good idea of what direction you should be going. Are you fighting the right battles? Are you fighting the right war, right? And a lot of times we don't, we don't, we don't narrow it down and really focus down to what can we do differently. 
And a lot of those things that we can do differently are we can we can answer those de- those questions that we're asking ourselves, and we can make different decisions. We can we can come up with different answers. And what I mean by that is, let's say you really wanted to lose weight, and you were like, "Look, I am just I I." I Pete, I don't get it. I don't want to be overweight. I don't want to be overweight. I don't want to be overweight, right? Now, the first thing that we're doing is what? We keep repeating that, and all we're doing is focusing on the fact that we're overweight. And so we start to make that a reality because even if we're not as overweight as we perceive ourselves to be, the more we say that, the more we start eating to ingrain that and and to make that a self fulfilling prophecy, right? Because we don't want to be liars. So now I'm going to eat and, and start to really act like a crack addict, right? And all of a sudden, I'm going to have all this fat everywhere. I'm going to see, look, I'm overweight. Well, yeah, I, I created that situation. I made it even worse, right? Because I kept saying, I don't want to be overweight. Instead of saying, I eat healthy and I'm thin. 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 And you guys are thinking, well, that's just crazy. That doesn't really work. But I guarantee you, you keep repeating that over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And when you're going into Del Taco, you're going to start to feel guilty going, man, I eat healthy and I'm thin. I eat healthy and I'm thin. This is not eating healthy. I'm not a liar. So, all right, uh, if I've got to eat here, I'm going to get the chick. And all of a sudden, you're going to start eating healthier. And hey, maybe not, you know, it may not be a light switch, right? It may not be like that. But the reality is, as time goes on, I was talking to somebody tonight, right? And I said, well, what could you really do in your business? How, how much farther could you go? And she goes, well, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of at, the, at the top of my game right now, unless I went back to school. And man, that'd take eight years. I go, okay. What are you going to be doing for the next eight years again? And it's like, well, she's like, yeah, you know what? You're right. I mean, I guess I could do this and I could do this. And I'm like, there you go. Who cares if it took 12 years, right? It's supposed to take eight. It took her 12. Let's say it took 12 years. Man, in 12 years, she would be able to move up a huge to the next level type of movement, right? And not only that, she'll have proved to herself that she is worth it. See, because I think more than anything, what she's saying is, I'm not really valuable enough to invest that kind of time. Are you kidding me? That's eight years. That's time. I'm going to have to invest a ton of it. And to me, I'm not really worth it. I was a young mother. I was this. I was that. I was, you know what I mean? And we start building all these reasons why we shouldn't have, be, own, do what we really want. And so tonight, I really want to focus on the fact that, look, one, you are valuable. You're valuable. You're incredibly valuable. And what you can do is amazing. And the, the biggest, the biggest shame the biggest really the biggest defeat of america would be all of us believing that this is all we're good for all of us believing that we couldn't ever do that now i'm not saying everybody's right to be an entrepreneur because some people they just don't want that look is it super easy no it's not easy to be an entrepreneur it's not simple it's not easy it's hard there's a lot of fighting but for me If I'm going to fight for something, I'm going to fight for me. I want you to see the value in you. Because when you can see the value in you, everybody else will start to see the value in you as well, right? Now, there's another thing that, that goes along with this as well, right? And the other part of this is that you have to find value and you have to make sure that your values are lining up with where you want to go. Meaning, look, don't tell me that you want to become a priest and you're going to fund the church by running a strip club, right? Because they don't, they don't match up. And eventually, something is going to fall apart. So my question is, if you know, right? If you know that, hey, if I go into business with this person, I don't like them at all. And man, if the moment they try and screw me, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be out for blood and da da If you think that, going into a partnership... Man, pull that emergency brake, right? I mean, seriously, it is time to hit the brakes. It's time to, I mean, we're, we're going to be crashing into something, right? You've got to realize that that little voice inside of you that's constantly saying, No, no, right? No. I wonder if I can do this. No. I wonder if I could do that. No. I wonder if I could do this. No. I wonder if I could do that. No. Right? We need to change that voice. We need to take no. this person. No, no, no. Get rid of them. Replace them with yes. That's right.
Okay, that was a little sexy. I don't think I wanted it. That, yes. There, well, that's a little weird. Yes. All right, whatever. But this is the voice I want to be hearing. Can I do this? Yes. Can I make something happen? Yes. Should I believe in myself? Yes. Should I, should I go for it? Yes. All of these. These are questions that we constantly ask ourselves. You ask yourself these questions all the time. But a lot of times when we start doing things like this, right? When we start saying, I wonder if I could do this. Or let's say we attempt something and it doesn't work out. What, what happens? All of a sudden we start thinking, you suck. Oh, man. You suck. That's what we start thinking over and over and over. And we just keep you repeating suck. it. You we, suck. We keep repeating that, right? And it's not about that. Because we don't. We may have failed at something. We may have not done it right the first time. But guess what? Anything worth doing amazing, anything worth doing incredible, anything worth doing really well is worth doing really bad at first. Because when you start doing anything, you're not going to be great at it. And that's okay. In fact, it's expected. It's not expected that you're going to come out of the gates and all of a sudden everything that you do is going to be perfect. So stop putting that kind of pressure on yourself and realize that everything is a learning process. And the more you do it, the better you get. The more you do it, the better you get. I do webinars every week. I do them for free. Do I need to do them? No. But I like... One, I like connecting with people. Two, I like inspiring people. And three, the more I do this, the more I, I speak, the more I talk about what I am passionate about, the better I get at it. So when I am in front of 5,000 people talking about this, when I am in front of 200 people, 500 people, whatever, I'm comfortable. Why? Because I've done this over and over and over and over. And when it comes down to it, and let's say I forget everything and I had to go, man, what am I going to talk about? I want to impact the world. I could talk about that forever because I do. I'm passionate about it. I know how I want to impact people. I know that I want people to believe in themselves. I know that, that everybody out there puts a glass ceiling on themselves. I want to help give them the hammer to shatter it and move to the next step up. I want to help people believe in themselves so much so that they're able to go after their dreams and make them happen. Not because of any other thing but because of themselves, because they turned their own switch on. Not because of me. I just, I lit the, I lit the fuse, right? I lit the, the match. And that's part of what I wanted to talk about as well tonight. I wanted to talk about the fact that, look, a lot of times we take for granted everything. Everything. All of you guys listening to me right now, you're all amazingly, you're wealthy, and you're thinking, you could be thinking to me right now, no, that's not true. Well, unless you're in Zimbabwe listening on like one of those little tiny ham radios, and I have no idea how that would be happening, then believe me, you're probably in your own dwelling, right? Listening on your own electronic device, which there's a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people in a lot of countries that don't have that. They don't have a car. They don't have transportation. They don't have a job. They don't have this. They don't have that. So remember what you should be grateful for. And then remember that everybody has a timeline. We all have a timeline. If you think about a fuse, right? Think about, you don't know how long. We just lit the fuse. We just lit it. Lit it. You have no idea how long that fuse is. You have no idea how bright it's going to burn, how fast it's going to burn. None of that. You just know that right now it's burning and at some point it's going to stop. That's our life. Right now we're burning. Are you burning bright? Are you, are you living fast? Or are you just letting it go and waiting for the light to go out? For me, I want to burn bright. I don't know how much time I have left, so I want to make sure that every day I'm alive, I live it to the full, the, the fullest Right? I was going to say the full most ability, but I don't think that even makes sense. But I want to live my life out loud. I want to live my life with my kids. I want to, everything that I do is wrapped around my family. And I want to be around more people that care about that type of thing. I want to create a mastermind group where you're talking about people that all get together to, to help each other grow their businesses in, in new and different ways where we're able to collaborate 
not not oh man i wanted to think of a rhyming word but i couldn't but i, I you know where we want to collaborate not oh not fight against each other though not not um compete right but collaborate work together and i think that when when we work together we can get so much farther we can do so much more but we're so focused on what about me what about me what about me that we stop focusing on what about the people around us what can i offer them right we go back to finding our balloon you know what i mean stop running around searching for your happiness and everybody else and realize that you have other people's happiness right within you. Connect with them. They're going to be grateful for your time. They're going to be grateful for your help. They're going to be grateful for everything. But you going around and searching for it, right? You're trying to force it down people's throats. They don't even know who you are. It's kind of hard to move with the movement. And I don't know if I just lost everybody, but to me, that was pretty cool. So here we go. Let's have fun tonight. Um, so Journey to Success, we're talking about Force Your Dreams right now. That's the, that's the book that we're on. And if you haven't read the book, it's super easy. All you got to do is go to c2crea.com and you can download the book for absolutely free. Um, all it's going to take is about two minutes of your time. Once you download it, it's 40 pages. It's something that you can read literally every week without a problem. I wrote it very not very fast, but it reads very fast. And it's all actionable information. None of nothing in there is just hyped out like da 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 and, and the you know the sky was blue and oh my gosh, it was just a beautiful day. I mean, nothing is like that. It's all about what can you do right now to make a difference? What can you do right now to make a difference? Now, the book that I have coming out, Questions Are the Key, that one's just about done. It's the how do you do that, right? So if you don't know how to get passion, this next book is going to explain those, those aspects, right? How do you get these things? How do you, how do you create this um, within your life? Um, and then now I'm looking at a book of the, um, not what to do, but um, the, the next steps of the daily aspects. What are you going to do every day? What are the next steps to take? And that type of thing. And so, um, I'm excited about that one as well because that one I focus a little bit more on or I want to focus more on like writing goals, writing down where you want to go. I think so often we get we get sidetracked and, you know, we just, man, shiny object syndrome and all, all the, even the people out there that go, I don't get that, you know, I'm really focused. Well, it's probably not completely accurate because what we're really focused on, we achieve. That's a reality. What you're really focused on, you achieve. Think about it your entire life. When you really wanted something, you created a reality where it existed. You just made it happen. And whether that was, you know, you wanted a new computer, so you went and you took this one and bashed it against the wall, and you're like, well, <laughs> I'm going to have to get a new computer now because that one doesn't work, right? Or whether you left something at home so that you had the, the now, I, now I have to get it as I'm now I'm here. We create situations to really get what we want. So when you say, no, I don't really want this life, I'm going to say, that's BS. You really do want the life that you have. Because if you really wanted it differently, you'd be doing something different about it. But you're not. You're continuing to go through the same motions every day. You're not making new steps. You're not making different decisions. Your life is all about decisions. Start making new ones. Start making different ones. Start making choices that, that put you in an uncomfortable space. Look, anything that you really want, is, it's always going to be right, right outside of your grasp. So it's going to take you getting uncomfortable to be able to acquire it. It's going to take you getting new skills, right? It's going to take getting new equipment. It's going to take getting new something that you're going to have to learn. You're going to have to operate. You're going to have to acquire whatever it is, but you're going to have to get uncomfortable. And it's going to be something that you haven't done before. And the coolest part is that's okay. That's okay. It's okay to do whatever you want to do. But what you should do is give yourself a timeline. 
If you're going to attempt something new, if you're going to try a new technique, if you're going to if you're going to if you're going to start doing a new method of anything, whether it be in a business that that was dealing with cookies or whether it's in real estate or whether it's in babysitting, it doesn't matter, right? Give yourself a timeline that you're going to do this for. I'm going to do this for the next four weeks. Now, don't give yourself such a short timeline that there's no possible way to get a result and then go, well, yep, I guess it didn't work, right? But don't make it so long that it's like, well, when I'm 80, I'll know if this worked or not because that's a dumb idea as well. So we want to give ourselves a, a finite period of time to work within and then be able to have a calculated or a, a, a weighted to grade it, right? To see if this is working, okay? And then once you do this, the end of that six months, now you look back and go, okay, making that choice every morning, let's say it was you wanted to lose weight, you wanted to get in shape, whatever that was. And so you said, okay, this is what I'm going to do for the next four months, right? The next 120 days, 120 days, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get up at five o'clock in the morning and I'm going to go and I'm going to run. I'm going to get on a treadmill for 30 minutes every morning and I'm going to make it so I sweat. So maybe the first day I'm at a two and a half speed, maybe then I, you know, but, but by the end, I want to be, I want to be able to run for 30 minutes by the end, full, just 30 minute jog, right? I don't mean like a full, like, <gasps> like sprint, but just a jog for 30 minutes. All right. And I'm going to give myself 120 days to do this. And I'm going to see if in the, at the end of 120 days, I'm going to take measurements. I'm going to see, did I lose any weight around my waist? Did I, did I lose any weight in my chest? Did I, did I lose any weight off the, the scale? Right. I'm not going to weigh myself every day and be a complete psychopath about this because then I'm going to become completely transfixed on all kinds of stupid stuff. I'm just going to, I'm going to implement Little things, right? Because if we make this too big, all of a sudden it consumes our life and we go, oh my God, I can't stand this. Oh, I'm doing too much, right? And you freak out because you feel overwhelmed. We made too many choices, uh, too many new changes too fast, right? For your personality, for your whatever. So we back up. And again, we go back to, I'm going to do three things. I'm going to get up earlier. I want to, at the end of this, I want to be able to run for 30 minutes. All right, so I'm going to get up earlier and go running. By the end, I want to be able to run for 30 minutes. Okay, that's another goal. And then I'm going to, let's say, um, every night I'm going to write down my goals and meditate for 15 minutes before I go to bed. All right, I'm going to do those three things. Okay, and now those aren't big changes, right? Because one, I got up a little bit earlier. One, I had to go to bed or focus on bed about 20 minutes earlier. And for 120 days, I'm going to do this. And at the end of 120 days, you'll now be able to see if all of that was worth it. Now, I use that for an example, but you could do that with anything. It could be, you know, I'm going to start, you know, looking for houses this way. I'm going to start using billboards or um, bandit signs, or I'm going to do yellow letters, or I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that. It doesn't matter what it is, but the task needs to have a specific time that you're going to do it for. It has to be longer than 10 minutes, right? And it has to have some kind of quantitative value that you can assign to it so you can see if it is working and, and if you should continue to do it. And that way, at the end, you're able to go, okay, yes or no. And now you didn't quit anything. You didn't fail anything. None of that occurred. You went for a, a designated time, and then you, you chose to do something else, right? And that's okay. I think a lot of times we get so wrapped up in the fact of, can I do this? Should I do this? Is it okay to do this? And we don't stop to think about what do you want to do? Because if you don't want to do it, if you're not excited about doing it, all you're doing is creating another job. And that's not what you want either, right? So here we go. You guys should all know about the challenge by now. And if you don't, please go check out um, our 21-day challenge. It's just to start getting you uh, acclimated to writing down your goals. You write down your goals every evening. You're going to write down five goals for, for three different variations um, from business to personal to charity. And you're going to start focusing on different aspects of your life and what do you really want out of them, right? Start giving yourself a direction. Start creating a map for yourself. Does that make sense? And a map is a motivated action plan, right? Think about that. A map. What is a map? A map tells you where you want to go. It's an action plan. It's an action plan. 
create an action plan now. There's no reason for you to wait till January 1st. There's no reason for you to wait till Monday. There's no reason for you to wait another two hours. If your life is seriously as, as important to you as it should be, this should be something you're excited about doing right now. If your life isn't going where you want it to go, this is something you need to start doing right now. Putting this off does nothing for you. It doesn't help you in any way, shape, or form, right? And if you think about it, if you would have started doing this a year ago, where would you be now? We always think about that. Oh, man, if I would have started this, jeez. If I would have started doing this four years ago, do you realize, well, you know what? Today is four years ago. Right now. Right now is your four years ago. Make a decision to do something good. Make a decision to make four years later you happy. Right? Right? Do something today that your future self will thank you for. Make that happen today. Make that be your goal. Start looking at your life as more than just right now. Yeah, there's a right now component to it. But man, if you just keep living in right now, right now is going to be forever. And you're going to be right now at Walmart going, thank you for coming to Walmart. Have a great shopping experience or whatever it is that they say. I mean, I had a friend and, and, and again, we were talking and I'm like, how much longer do you want to be working? How much longer do you want to be there? Because I guarantee you the rate you're going, you're going to end up being 80 years old. She's like, well, I don't want to work for that long. Well, you're going to. If you don't start making different decisions, you are going to. So she's got some money in a 401k. So I'm going to have her talk to Ivan. We're going to help her out, start dialing her in. Because if she can, if she can say, save Twelve to $24,000 within a two to four year time frame, right? And, and she's able to get a, a property that's able to rent for $700 at a $24,000, whatever it is, right? And, and start to work it within her IRA or self-directed IRA. She can start to build up her retirement and she can start to work within that, saving the tax money or, or you know, saving taxes, not paying taxes on this and investing and building up this future that she does want to have. But right now, she's not doing that. And if you think that, that the government is going to do that for you, that's crazy. If you think that your 401k you know, administrator is really focused on just making you money, that's crazy too. Because if you look at all the fees that are eaten up in a 401k, it's absolutely crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy. Crazy. Even if I had a business where I could put a 401k in, I would not be doing anything but self-directed. There's no way I'm putting my... They're going to charge me fees for everything, for buying this, for selling that, for the paperwork and a yearly statement and this and that and all this stuff. Instead, I could create my own self-directed. I could charge myself those, those fees, put it back in and not pay taxes on it because it's within my self-directed. Now, I'm not trying to give you any kind of tax advice or anything like that. I'm just saying look into it if it's not something that is not one of your current um, plans. So, man, this light is super bright tonight. It is like blinding me. Oh, I wish I could put something else on there. There, that'll help out. Just give me a second here. On the fly. No. Hold on here. Wow. There we go. That should be everybody. That should be it. Never mind. Can't even talk. That's better for everybody. Well, that's at least better for me. Okay. So here we go. Steps to creating success. The first chapter we talked about was everything first and foremost is about you, right? And yes, as much as we want to give to everybody else, look, we have a fiduciary responsibility to ourselves to ensure that we're making money for ourselves and our family, right? So we have that first foremost. Now, once we take care of that, though, we still need to understand that Look, it's like qu quitting smoking. You're not going to quit smoking for somebody else. You're going to always find excuses until you actually quit because you want to. So realize that whatever you do, whatever you go after, make sure that you want to do it, that it's your dream, that it's your passion, right? And it can be with somebody else, but make sure it's something that you really want to do. And then the next step is, right, you've got to have that passion. 
Whatever it is, make sure you have that passion because the passion is going to drive you through all of the hard times because it will not be easy. We all have our own road to go down. I don't care if you bought a franchise that's a Starbucks and there's no other Starbucks within a 20 mile radius. I promise you, you're still going to have challenges because you're going to have employees that they're going to be sick and this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And then some, all of a sudden money's going to come up missing and this broke and that broke and oh my gosh. And I don't know how we could do anything without anybody else. Your life will always be putting out fires. Always. All right. So accept that and then become passionate about whatever it is that you really want to do, right? Or find it, find whatever it is that you're passionate about that you really want to do. Okay. Second, you've got to believe that you can do it. You've got to believe, right? You may be passionate about being a, a basketball star, but if you're over 40 and not over six feet tall and have never been in professional sports, the chances of you making it on basketball and in a, on a basketball team are really, 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 really slim. Okay. And you probably aren't going to believe that you can do it. All right. Now with that said though, you've got to have values. You've got to be going in the same direction that you're trying to swim, right? You've got to be going after what it is. You've got to see the value within yourself. You've got to project that value and you've got to be going in that direction. Meaning like we said before, you got to step. Oh, I love that one. Hold on. Let me go back to that because I love that. You got to step out of the life that you're living in right now. You've got to step out of the circumstances, out of the belief, the belief, like your mindset, what you believe. You've got to step out of that, right? And I mean, figuratively, I mean, literally, if you could just close your eyes and imagine you, you, imagine that you're a little tiny person within your head, right? And you could like literally open up your ears. And you could pop out of your ear and rock down your, your arm and jump onto something and go over and jump in another body and act different. That's what you need to do. You're going to upgrade your body. You're going to upgrade everything, right? We're going to go from this computer to that computer. So you're going you're gonna to pop out and you're going to walk over and you're going to step up. You're going to step up your expectations, right? This new upgraded version of you, this 2.0 version, this version of you, this version thinks that you should be getting up at five o'clock. This version thinks that you are worth $400 an hour. This person thinks that they are. This person not only thinks all of those things, they believe them. They know them. And they become them. And that's how you get to step into that person, that body, that version 2.0. This is a literal and figurative thing. Guys, becoming a new you, when I, when I talk about sh uh, shatter at Saturday and I go, look, you got to shatter who you are for who you want to become, that is no joke. I mean, shatter it. Why am I saying shatter? Because it's like burning a bridge. I don't want you going back to that person. I have clothes from when I was 260 pounds. Now I say clothes, but what I really mean is I have one shirt. The shirt that I got married in, right? And it looks like, uh, oh my gosh, it is a dress on me, okay? That's it. I got rid of all of my other clothes. I got rid of them. And I mean, I had expensive clothes. Got rid of them. Why? Because I don't, I, I'm not going back to 260 pound Pete. Not going to happen. Anytime Pete gets around 283, I start losing my mind and spending like four hours at the gym going, nope, got to get, got to get it down, got to get it down, got to get it down because I'm not doing it. I'm not going back to that person. I burnt that bridge. Burn your bridges too. Make sure you're not going back to the person that you used to be. Make sure that you're not going back into those, those different mindsets. Make sure that you're not slipping back into that negative Negative Nancy attitude, right? Where it's just, oh, bah, everything's so horrible and I'm never going to make it. Nah, bah, 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 right? Nobody wants to hear that. Not only do they not want to hear it, they don't want to be around it. And because they're not around it, you're going to miss opportunities. And so when I say that your attitude determines the, the, the opportunities and the decisions that you get to make, it's 100% true. And here's the other cool part. These are the last of the internals. Everything that we talked about so far, everything has everything to do with you. You get to make up all these decisions. You get to decide how valuable you are. You do. You do. Not anybody else. Unless you let them. 
If you let them, then maybe you are worth $18 an hour. If you let them, then maybe you are worth $10 an hour. I don't know. I just know that I'm not worth that. I know I'm worth a lot more than that. And I demand it. And I've created the value within myself. Now, you guys all have that value as well. Whether you see it or not yet, that's up to you. And that's up to you really looking deep and going, what do I want out of life? And what am I willing to do to make it happen? Are you willing to step out, step up, and step into your life? Are you willing to do that? Because it's not easy. I know a lot of you guys are thinking, ah, oh, it's, it's not easy. Are your values lining up with your direction? You must have values that will change your focus to inspire your new goals, lives, and outcome. Meaning that you need to make sure that when you're going after something, you flip the switch and that everything is 100% in that direction. Right? When you get married, boom. That is it. Right? So react in your life the same way. Realize that when you make decisions, pick decisions that you're excited about. Don't, don't go in a direction that you don't want, that you don't like, right? That doesn't make sense. Don't tell me, well, the money's good. Well, great. The money's not going to be good when you hate doing it and you stop doing it. Then the money's going to suck because you're not going to make any money because nobody's going to want to work with you. Da, 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 Right? We can go through all those things. Working in harmony, right? And I f actually, I think that, yeah, there we go. Let's do that. So, we just talked about this, inspiring, right? You want to line up with everything, all right? So, here's the other thing. Here's a, here's a boat, and this is not what I was talking about, though. I was talking about those big, giant ones with the cannons in them. But, working in harmony with you. You want the new ideas to take hold of your emotions like super glue on your fingers. It's important that your ideas, feelings, and energy are working in harmony towards, the go towards one goal, right? And I love that, because that, we all know what that's... The, the super glue on the fingers, oh, man, that sucks, right? Because you're just like, and it's like, oh, my gosh, I can't get this off. But so often, because our belief isn't there, because our passion isn't there, because we don't find value, we'll, we'll get an opportunity, an idea or something, and we're like, ah, I don't know, man, whatever. Like, again, I'll, I'm, I'm one step closer, man. I got another email today about this project that I'm working on that I'm going after. And I can't talk about it publicly yet because I just can't talk about it publicly yet. And when I, when I sign the contracts and everything, I will talk about it publicly. Believe me, I will be talking about it publicly. But I'm putting everything I have into this, man. And if it doesn't work, it's going to suck. It's going to hurt my feelings. It's going to bum me out. It's, 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 you know, and I'm just being honest. I'm just telling you that I'm just like everybody else. I'm just like you. You're just like me. We're just like Trump. We're just like Kiyosaki. We're just like Robert Allen. We're just like... Everybody, Barack Obama, it doesn't matter who, Ronald Reagan, it doesn't matter what kind of president you like, it doesn't matter what kind of individual, actor, anything. We're all the same. We're all human. We're all human. The difference between the ones that are successful and the ones that aren't is they went for it. They believed in themselves. And they didn't let anything get in their way. They didn't detract from their values. They, they ensured that the direction they were going was so strong that nothing could waver them. Now, some of you may be thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't believe in anything that much. So Pete, how am I going to do this? You don't have to believe in something like that deep, right? But you do need to believe in something. And the biggest thing that you need to believe in is you. You have to. You have to believe in yourself with every ounce of everything that you have. When I say you need to be 150%, I mean it. When I say there's going to be struggles, I mean it. Look, everybody has their own road to travel, period. There are no shortcuts. There's nothing to, all you can do is get advice. You can get experience. You can get, or you can get advice and you can get ideas to handle the challenges when they occur. But I promise you guys, you're all going to have challenges. There is no way to avoid them. None. Your challenges are going to be different. They're not going to be the same as mine. They're not going to be the same as Scott's or Ivan's or I can name a million different people. We're all going to have our own road to travel. 
the difference between the ones that succeed and the ones that fail is the ones that succeeded kept going on their own road. The ones that failed stopped trying to cut their own way and jumped onto somebody else's road and lifted them higher so they could see better and they kept going faster. What do you want to do? Do you want to build your own dreams? Do you want to see your own name up on the side of a building? Whatever it is, what do you really want? And if you're on my call, God, it's got to be you want to be an entrepreneur. You want to build your business. You want to become something great. And I'm going to tell you, you're there. You're great. Now, you've got to let the rest of the world know. You've got to let the rest of the world see. If they could see what you could do, they would be as impressed as you are, as you should be. So what are you going to do? To make a difference. What are you going to do to start changing the way you engage with people, with things? Are you going to, I, I, I'm going to be partners in a gun shop now because of the different value that I bring to the table. I'm now being brought into another company so that I can help them with some of the marketing that they're doing and the ideas. And it's like, man, I just told them, okay, this is what you need to start doing. Boom, 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 boom. Go make it happen. And they're going to watch the profits shoot through the roof because I know what to do when it comes to the, the environment and the space that they're in. They need to be at expos. They need to be. And, and part of what the company does is they do graphics, right? So he can do graphics on boats. They do graphics on um, guns. And that's really kind of the primary uh, primary space that he's been involved in is, is guns, right? And so he started creating camouflage on guns when he was in the army, got really good at it to where all of a sudden everybody was paying him to do it and created a custom graphic shop out of it. Got all this equipment, but now doesn't know what to do. My thing is, man, I want to find entrepreneurs like that, that I can help, that I can market, that I can become part of, and now I can invest in them and I can get a return as time goes on. I want to find young entrepreneurs. I want to find people that I can help their business, right? Because to me, that's how I'm going to get to 50. That's how I'm going to get to where I want to be. And I don't want to do all the work. I want to come in with great ideas and help them get where they want to go because a lot of times entrepreneurs with a business, right? They just, they're, they're hitting a roadblock, but they can't see it because they're so deep inside of it. And so somebody like me can come in, consult with them, fix it, dial it back in, and then let them go off and start doing what they love to do. I mean, that's what, that's what my mentor did for me. He came in, helped, picked me up, let me go and do what I wanted to do. It was awesome. I want to do that for other people, Right. And that does go with where I want to be. That does work out with work and life and balance and all of those things. Because you've got to do them all. That's why I got into real estate. I wanted to be able to bring my family with me. I wanted to make sure that what happened with my son when he got cancer and I was never around, and, and he's fine now, but I wanted to ensure that that never happened to, to any of my other family members and that I was here for all of them as they were growing up. And now I may be traveling a little bit more, but I still am home and with my family more than almost anybody that I know that, that works. Because typically when you work a job for somebody else, you work and then you come home and you're still working for them. And, and, and it's just different, man. I love what I do. So I don't feel like I, I'm ever working. I, I just feel like I get to create. I get to, I've just worked really hard to, to, to create this reality for me. And you can work really hard to create that reality for you. What are you going to do to do it, though? What are you going to sacrifice? I sacrificed a lot. What are you going to sacrifice? What are you going to give up? Because today is your day to make something happen. It's all about getting that peak performance, right? I had to ask myself a couple of questions about what was most important and put it into a priority list. And then I could ask another question. How could I accomplish all of this in the most effective and fun process? And if you know me, that word F-U-N is always there. Always. I'm all about having fun. Because if I can have fun, then I'm not working. If I can have fun, I can do it for hours and not get exhausted. But man, if it's not fun, holy crap, after 10 minutes, I want to kill myself. I want to stop. I'm done. Find stuff that you enjoy doing and you'll be able to do it for hours and hours. When it comes to video editing and stuff, I can do it for hours because I love doing it. It's creative, it's, it's enjoyable, it's engaging, right? Find things that you love to do. 
and create an opportunity around them. All right. So um, communicating for support. That's another big one, too. I think a lot of people. Successful people. I like this. This is one of my quotes. Successful people look ahead for potential challenges and put strategies in place to overcome them should an obstacle present itself. And I already said the obstacle is going to present itself. It's going to happen. Right. So getting around people that can help you in those times of need that can go, man, I've been through that. This is what you need to do. That's what that's the big key, guys, because the reality is the challenges are going to happen. They're going to happen no matter what. So get the answers prior to getting the test thrown in your face, right? So that when the challenge does happen, you're able to go, I know exactly what to do. I need to do this, 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 and this, and this. Boom. Now, at least I turned that small loss. I mitigated all the other challenges that would have gone along with it had I not been prepared. And now this loss cost me blank instead of blank, right? That's what, that's what success is all about. It's not about evaporating any kind of challenges. It's knowing what to do when those problems, when those challenges arrive and what to do and how to handle them, right? Um, all right. Let me see if there are any questions. Oh, thank you very much. I got uh, a comment by Stella who said that she read my book today and that it was awesome. I appreciate that. And, and the reason, it's kind of cool because I do... Each of these goes through each chapter. So basically, you can read ahead, right? So next week, you could read chapter what are we, chapter four, right? And you'll know what I'm going to talk about, but now I'm going to explain it in my way. I'm going to explain it by the circumstances that are happening in my life right now that happened when I wrote the book. And basically, you get this in-depth one-hour look into this chapter that's, what, like maybe three, two pages long, three pages long? You know what I mean? I mean, it takes two minutes to read, but I'm going to talk for an hour about it. And I think that's what's kind of cool about this whole series is being able to, to put all of these mediums together and to really start to grasp what, not, what I'm, not just what I'm saying, but how to apply it to your life. Because that's the, real, that's the most important part. How do you apply what I'm saying to your life, right? Because we're all different. So what are, you, what are you going to do? Because you can't do exactly what I'm doing because that's... A, Look, we're not the same. You can't copy me. That's exactly what we were just talking about. Was you guys can't copy me, but you can model it, right? You can you can model different things and and when you model something, you basically take the structure, bring it over into your camp and then make it yours, right? When you copy, it's like a carbon copy exact same thing, but it won't fit the exact same way because even though every car has a, car, a carburetor, right? Uh, that's not true. Even though every car has an engine, okay, because even a Tesla has an engine, it's got to have some kind of engine or something that generates power. They're not all the, chain, the same and they're not all interchangeable, right? So we're all different. But a car, they modeled it after a car. They have four wheels. They go from zero to 60, right? They have brake lights. They have this. There are certain aspects that make it a car. And when you model those aspects, you now have a, a car, right? So I think that's pretty explanatory and if you look that kind of looks like a car right there um this is how you are going to jump outside of your comfort zone and when you do you've got to realize that you've created a new comfort zone and now we've got to repeat that process right and it's just a rinse and repeat rinse and repeat rinse and repeat doing it over and over and over again i'm going to tell you guys right now i believe in you when I do this in the morning with my girls and they want to argue with me, I mean, it, it happened a long time ago that we started doing this and we fought, fought about it. But I love it because I want, you to, I want you guys to see somebody fighting over you. I want you to see somebody believing in you so much that they're willing to argue about how amazing you are. Because even though you may not see the parts of you that are amazing right now, they're in there. You just need to uncover them. You need to let them see the light. And a lot of times that's going to come with polishing, right? And what does polishing mean? It means elbow grease. It means rubbing it. It means that you're going to need to go out to meetings and, and get uncomfortable. And you're going to need to polish up the way you engage with people, the way you engage with the public, right? You need to go to live meetings. You need to, and I don't care what you do. Again, it doesn't matter. You could be in bakery. You could be in politics. You could be in anything. The more people that you know, the more people that know you, the more opportunities and success you will have, period. 
If you owned a coffee shop, the more people that knew that you owned that coffee shop, if they were thirsty for coffee, they would drive out of their way to go have coffee at your coffee shop because they know you. You see what I mean? We want to help our friends. We want to. So make, so start making a lot of friends. Here's another great idea. If you have a retail store, if you have any kind of thing that you sell merchandise, right? Get an app. If you want to have questions on, on how an app can be made for you and how to do that, I'm telling you right now, Manny Lopez, uh, I've got a guy that can make an app for you. It's like $700 all in and then 30 bucks a month for an app that can do like an amazing amount of things. When you talk about emailing and text messaging, this thing will send text messages right to a phone for absolutely free and you can hit everybody's on the app all at one time. I'm just telling you, there's, there's things that you can do, but you've got to break your comfort zone. You've got to get uncomfortable. You're going to have to learn new things, different things, and hey, that's okay. That's what's going to be you going down your road, right? Your own personal road that we all have to travel down to create that success within us, all right? Um, sorry, my voice seems like it's, it's about to go too, so it must, it's got to be close to time. Investing coast to coast, make sure you tune in every Monday through Friday from 10 to 11 a.m. Pacific. We are on the Bloomberg Network, a.m. 1450 and a.m. 1510, or you can just click on our website if you go to c2crea.com. Right there on the front, you'll see our, um, our logo, for the radio show, click on the logo and it'll take you right to c2crea.com forward slash live, which is our live link to uh, Asher Broadcast Network, uh, part of the Bloomberg Network. Um, oh, my watch is getting caught. So we also love questions, man. So if, if you would, if you would, if you could, if you wanted to, please definitely call in. Call us at 760-931-1604. Tomorrow morning is all about mindset. We'll be talking about anything and everything. You're more than welcome to call in. In fact, we would love it and tell us what you think. And let's say you're maybe you're not available from 10 to 11. Maybe you're too shy to do it live. That's okay. Call into our message line, um, which that it's not. Call into 877-C2C-7520. That's 877-C2C-7520. When you call in there, you can leave a message for me or Ivan or Scott or even Shannon and we can go ahead and put that out on the radio for you. Easy as that. All right. And with that, there is the cover of the book. Just in case you guys didn't get that. And you can go to forceyourdreams.com to download that for free. And right here is the challenge as well. You can go there. Um, guys, thank you so much for being on tonight. I really do appreciate it. Mike, you are more than welcome. Um, Merry Christmas. I will be here next week. Um, I'll be in KC, but I'll still be doing the show from KC. And the following week, I think we're still good to go. I think Christmas is in the middle of the week, so I don't think it really affects us at all for our journey to success. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season, though. Remember what it's all about. Um, we're going to be donating time when I come back um, on the 20th from KC. We're actually going to be going to a, a senior home and donating some time there, volunteering, and, and just kind of meeting some of the, the, maybe some of the seniors that, that don't get visitors right now this time of year. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I'm about to get kind of, kind of sappy, but how would you feel if you were 70 or 80 years old and you lived in a, in a home and it was Christmas time and it was your favorite time of year and you just didn't have any family anymore? Nobody came and visited you. You were all alone. I, I think that would suck. So I want my, my children, I, one of the things we really wanted to do is go and go to a hospital. We can't go to the hospital. So we've donated the money to the hospital, but we can't go and give them the presents or anything because the children are sick and engagement with other children is like big no-no. And so we're, we've, we've went down a bunch of different roads and none of them seem to work. So we can do a homeless shelter and we can do um, a senior center. So we're going to do those two things and at least... At least we'll be able to give back to somebody. I would love to hear from you if you guys are doing something of the same thing. Uh, take pictures while you're there and hashtag us, um, C to C Rhea or Journey to Success, um, or everybody can impact. Actually, that's what you should use is the everybody can impact um, hashtag. That's my daughter's charity that she has. And uh, with that, man, thank you guys so much. I'm pretty hungry right now. I'm ready for dinner. My voice is pretty much toast. So uh, come on. So I wanted to, again, one more time real quick, thank you guys for being here. 
and let you know, as always, we're here every Sunday. Please share this. Tell your friends about the webinar. Bring more people. I want to get this thing up to over 100 um, by uh, by within four months is, is kind of my goal. So um, let's make that happen. This is and how we roll. Love this song. Come on. Woo! It's all about doing what you have to do to make your life the very best you can make it. Come on, guys. Go make something happen. Thank you so much. Without you, there is no us because you put the Y in our success. In fact, the reality is you can't spell success without you. Have a great week. Go make something happen.